reflux is when contents from the stomach, usually acidic, uh, come from the stomach back up into the esophagus. And the reflux, or what we commonly call gastroesophageal reflux disease, some people call this GERD, G-E-R-D, um, has uh, some pretty significant symptoms that we see in children. In young children, the most common symptoms would be vomiting after meals and failure to gain weight appropriately. Uh, when we see gastroesophageal reflux in older children and adolescents, uh, they may um, have vomiting, uh, they may have constant cough or throat clearing, uh, they may have halitosis or bad breath. The things that we would do initially to try to manage uh, gastroesophageal reflux would be medical things. We would consider putting the patient on a medication like Zantac or an acid blocker, maybe something stronger like Prevacid. Uh, other things that we recommend are thickening the feeds uh, for infants, um, having the children sit upright when they're fed, not putting them to bed right after they feed, burping them well. Um, these are the sort of things that we would recommend. Also, uh, smaller volume feeds more frequently. There are a lot of things that you can do to try to manage reflux medically, uh, and often these things work. Uh, however, some children continue to have problems despite all of the medications and changes that we make in their feeding regimen. Again, we look at their weight to see if they're gaining weight um, and uh, able to manage their symptoms medically. If they have persistent failure of weight gain and inability to manage their symptoms medically, these are patients that we would recommend have surgery. The most common surgery that we do for reflux is called a Nissen fundoplication. What this involves is taking the top part of the stomach, which is the fundus, and we wrap it around the esophagus. This helps to act like a valve to prevent uh, stomach contents from refluxing back up into the esophagus. So um, during the surgery, of course, the child is asleep the entire time. The parents always ask about that. They don't feel any pain. Um, we have excellent anesthesia here at MUSC. They're very comforting to the children. The parents are allowed in the pre-op area before surgery. I think this puts the parents at ease and the child at ease. Uh, all of our anesthesiologists are trained in pediatrics. Fortunately, we've developed techniques in children to do this in a much uh, less invasive way, a, minim a minimally invasive approach using laparoscopy. Uh, what this really involves is making four or five very small incisions. Each incision is smaller than the tip of your pinky finger, and these allow us to put a camera in the abdomen, to fill the abdomen with air, and to use very small instruments to do the surgery. The laparoscopic um, approach allows us to see the anatomy a lot better. The surgeons, uh, we prefer this way, and the patients do much better after surgery. They're able to eat sooner, their incisions are much smaller, the cosmesis is better, and the return to normal function is much quicker with the laparoscopic approach. The success rates are very high um, with the laparoscopic Nissen. Uh, I would say our success rate here is in the, around the order of 95%. Another great reason is that it's a children's hospital. So when your child is in the hospital, you have nurses that love kids, that they only take care of children. We have child life specialists um, that will be with your child in the pre-op holding, that will come see your um, child after surgery, we have a uh, lovely atrium for the children to come play in. We have physical therapists and occupational therapists and all uh, types of specialists that only uh, manage children. They love kids and this is what they're trained to do. So all of the things um, outside of surgery that you may not think of um, before you arrive, but you'll be very aware of here in the hospital. The Children's Hospital really has all of those resources that you would want as a parent for your child so that they're happy and comfortable uh, around the time of their surgery.